Man. Joel's shirt sucks. Joel, what happened to your sleeves, bro? What happened to what? His 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 shirt's got no sleeves on it, man. Actually, Joel, where's my shirt? Oh, uh, Patreons. Patreons. Only yeah. Patreons get your shirt? Dude, you know what's awesome about Joel's Patre uh, Patreon? Everybody wins. Every yeah. month, everybody gets it. like I start the winner. Everybody wins. Unlike Joel's Dan's shirt Patreon. Sucks. Where Joel, what happened to your sleeves, bro? How many bro? months have I given you? $100? And what I have yet sleeves? to win. This shirt's got no sleeves on it. Man. Hey, we're, we're streaming. Actually, Joel, we're talking to myself. I'm Wait, what? <laughs> what? They can hear us? I don't know. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Popping out. We're a chat. little loud. We're loud? Nah, That's we're not button. possible. You turn it down. We're fine. Yeah. Oh, buddy. yeah. Actually, my headphones are loud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's Freaking what it is. Head. All right. Here we go. Bam. Oh, well, you know what? I didn't set up any of this stuff tonight, I don't think. Oops. Okay. Well, here we go. We're just going to go with the panel. What's going on, friends? Guess what? It's Vape Stew, and uh, we're here, so you don't have to be. Did that make sense? <laughs> that didn't make sense. No. Swaggins, I'm not good at that, bro. That's your thing. Wait. So uh, sit back, relax, grab your favorite uh, apple juice and uh, apple juice and vape. It's a big, frothy mug of apple juice. Yeah. You used my old logo. What the <laughs> I told you that's what I got. I emailed you. My name's Stan, and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. <laughs> Boom! Say what up, panel. What up? What up? What's up, panel? Hey. <sighs> So, that joke is gonna get old. Who you calling a panel? Yeah. What? Palette. <laughs> okay. So um, let's go around the room first. First, you know what? I have been forgetting to do this. All right. I'm gonna say what's up to everybody in chat. Goons and rebels, what's going on? Leo Lightinger, I think that's what that says. Dermont Dylan, Lightning. Shane Oakley, what's going on? James McDonough. Chris Chapman, uh, Goober Vapes, DC Rackley, was up? A Billy and CEO, Chuck a Cloud, Sammy Nitro, 5150, Frames, Jenklin Vapor. If you don't subscribe to him, you better go figure it out. Evan Wheatley, Deborah Hall. Hey, look, there's a Swaggins. Um, DB oh, Squonks, what's going on? Praise for villains. There he is. No intro music. Thank, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. Thanks That's Lucifer. only because of copyright infringement, okay? Wood Tick Mike, what's going on? Geothermal, Stand Up 3D. He makes killer stands. Hold on. Stand Up 3D is in the chat. I just got to show you. Check out this cool, like, battery tray that I got from him. Yeah. And uh, I'll be giving away a few of his stands on my Patreon pretty soon. You should uh, give them to the panel members. <laughs> yeah, no, they're going to my patrons, bro. Because right, you won't I'm gonna work something. I'm gonna work something. We're gonna make a just right stand up 3D <laughs> mod holder. Please, Dude, please. Come on, it's man. not gonna fit the dreamer either. Nope, that's the one <laughs> thing we need won't fit is a dreamer. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and send them back then, brother. James Bond, what's going on? Uh, El Boogie, <laughs> Tim Atkinson. And last, but certainly not least, let's go all the way to the top here. Justin Merrill, first in the chat. What's going on, guys? Why don't we go around the room, starting with our hashtag, the alternate. Say, what's up, Swaggins? What's up? And uh, tell us what you're vaping on, brother. Uh, yeah, hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm here, so you don't have to be. <laughs> See, that <laughs> was way better. That was way better. Absolutely. Was it? Was it? Damn it. It's always better. I'm never um, going to get it right. When I say it. I'm vaping on the uh, Lost Vape Mirage DNA 75C with the Hattie on on top. And interesting fact, the beauty ring from the 22 millimeter profile fits on this baby. So it looks like a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> That's that not what I was appropriate. expecting you to say, I'm bro. Vaping. Why is that? Everybody has nipples, man. Um, Can I milk? The Can you milk me? Nipples? I don't know. We'll ask, we'll ask I've got nipples, fucker. 
uh, <laughs> Tango Melon, uh, people shouldn't be surprised about that. Um, this is the uh, SL class, SX Mini SL class, uh, SX 75C. Is that right? I don't know. On top of that is the Citadel, which I'm absolutely in love with. This thing is, it's changed my life. Um, I've retired pretty much all of my tubes except for, oh, wait, inside of that, I have <laughs> M-Turk uh, Turkish Harvest because it's fall, and this is like a delicious fall e-juice right here. Um, and I'm vaping on the Admiral Culverin full aluminum. Uh, I'm proud of this number because it's way lower than uh, Kuwaiti Vapor Aziz's, and uh, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, I have a custom tip from EJ's box mods and button. It's purple. You can't really see it because my lighting sucks, but uh, it's awesome. Inside of that, I have Galactic Milk by Transistor. I didn't say Tango Melons by Transistor. If you don't know that already, go and talk to Poon Sauce underscore McNasty. He'll give you free juice. Hey, um, Promo Swaggins. <laughs> his bed is literally just a sheet on top of pallets of Transistor juice. Hey, Promo yeah. Swaggins. Yeah. Move it along, bro. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I didn't know. I figured because we didn't have a topic for tonight that I could just continue to drill What? Along. We always have a topic. Shut up. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, I'm vaping on the Infinix and the Zero Pods systems. And uh, I'll pass it off to not Stan, uh, Nick Bissett, Daily Vape. <laughs> Right. Well, today I've got the big old purple people. No, that's not the purple people eater. That's the incredible bulk. Uh, the Warlocks hammer mod from our very own stooge, Mark Clough. And I've got the, what is that? Elite V2 on top of there from Armageddon. Oh my God. God. This thing is massive and I love it. <laughs> that's like crazy, crazy craziness right now. Um, I've got some watermelon down under here from this is the this is the guys that do vape goons. Yeah, vape goons does this one. Watermelon vape down goons. under. It's a yeah, a uh, watermelon kiwi mix there. Uh, then I've got my trusty old dreamer. Hi yeah, old. dreamer. Dreamer mech with the apoc on top of there. Decided to switch it up a little bit this week and uh, in here I've got, oh, first of all, a uh, big shout out to uh, Coil Image on Instagram, Coil underscore image. Check them out. You built the frame staples that are in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous coils. And also uh, Lethal Coils. I think that's Lethal Coils with a Z, a Z. Um, those are in there. Those are 0.09 aliens ripping it up with some Vape Goons sweep, Sweet Nipples. Yeah. Ah, after show, after show. So, so yeah, get your fix of nipples here. Uh, it's a honeydew pop rocks, and dude, it's the so sweet good. nipples is so good, dude. It's so freaking good. Seriously good. Uh, and I, I just freshly rewrapped my thirty T's, so now I got nice, fresh, murdered out thirty T's. Murder. There we go. I got my order in. Got two new, two brand new sets of those two coming for the J Max when I get it back from uh, Matthew Carruthers. Cannot wait for that. That project is coming along nicely. Dude, he's got one of mine too. Yeah. Is that the one dude. with the unicorn on it? It's not a no, unicorn. I, I sent is him a I sent him a uh, Banaspati. Banaspati. I sent him my J Max with the Angel of Death on it. Oh, thank Angel you. Angel of Death, thank you. <laughs> unicorn. Now that's oh. yours. Yes. I'm going to pass it along to <laughs> Joel. About it, folks. Hope you guys are doing all right. It's a pleasure to be back here. Man, tonight I am rocking the uh, gold Furion with the gold profile up top. And surprisingly, I do not have mesh in it tonight. What? I have none other than J Boy coils. If it ain't J Boy, it ain't shit. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> dude is a killer dude. How much man. you pay you to say that? He came through with the hookup for me. And Patreons are also going to be getting the hookup. Uh, currently oh, also wow. uh, exactly. rebuilding the, or building, not rebuilding, but building the Pulse X by Bandy Bapes. They came through in a major way. They sent two of these down to me, one for review and one for a giveaway. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. 
Uh, also, I have my top side with the profile on top of it. It is broke down right now because I am putting some more juice back in that baby. Uh, we'll pass it off to Stan. Hello to everybody in the chat. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Let's make this one rock, guys. What's up, Thank guys? You know. uh, <clears throat> okay, so I, too, got a Pulse X, but I didn't put it together. I've been sitting here trying to put together all these. I had a big vape mail day today, man, so I got the Pulse X, but I didn't get a chance to put it together. So, anyway, what I did put together, what I am vaping tonight, is the Unicorn mod with the Unicorn RDA in white brass. It looks clean. With the unicorn engraved into the dude, it's actually a really slick little mod. Um, I like it a lot. It's nice and clean. Uh, inside you that, white brass? it is white brass. Yes. Inside that, I've got actually. You know what I did? I gave up a purple stacked dreamer for that. Isn't that cool? So that's why I don't have a dreamer that I'm rocking tonight. Um, the Karango, because I gave it away. The Karango, I'm vaping inside that. And then also I'm rocking this beast of a box, the Plan B still, because regardless of, I mean, it's my shoulder's starting to hurt just from holding this thing up. Oh, don't mind my fingers, they're dirty. Um, regardless of how heavy this thing is, I, I absolutely am falling in love with it. On top of that, I've got the Goon 25. I'll explain my fingers in a minute. Um, and then that's actually, oh, also this with the, what's this thing called again? I got this today. Citadel. The, yes. The Citadel RDA from Cyclone, um, uh, with on top of the vicious ant inside that. I don't even know. I just squonked what was in there after I built it. So uh, I have to vape it still, but those are the three setups that I'm rocking tonight. Um, oops. Oh, and inside the the plan b box i am rocking that paramon here and inside oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i got a phobia i just built this a phobia too damn i'm vaping that too look at that airflow right, almost, Dan, let's move it along i know i know i'm sorry <laughs> i just got so much stuff today i got excited i built everything Joel's got the, my back. and that's got the just from one of our awesome sponsors dun 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 hometown hero say what up to hometown hero get 20 percent off with code vape stew also get a discount at silverback juice co one of our other awesome sponsors with code v vape stew capital t capital v capital s and vape radio i'll be on tomorrow at 11 a.m central so we we are gonna have a pretty decent stew this evening however we are gonna cut it just a little bit short because we want to encourage everybody to go check out um the uh the uh suicide prevention the, 24 uh, hour um, lives um, what um um you know what at least i'm not like <laughs> digging at my fingernails totally ignoring everything like like somebody hey, i see I'm over there wicking my rda Thank oh you that's very... what i would say too oh by the way my hands are dirty and i'm embarrassed of them but that's paint i've been working late at night painting and stuff a lot and uh i literally actually also dying petg and stuff so i've cleaned my hands with thinner and all kinds of stuff and that's as good as they get right now so <sighs> i talked a lot nick talk uh news um <clears throat> <laughs> so did er did everyone hear that the fda is proposing taking vapor products out of convenience stores and only allowing them in brick and mortar adults only locations. I like it. I did hear that actually. What, what are your you thoughts? <laughs> Why don't they take cigarettes out of convenience stores if they're so worried about vaping leading the team smoking? Why don't they take cigarettes also out of convenience stores? You know why they don't do that? Because it don't make sense. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Because money is better than vape money because you have to pay. Like, I don't think people realize this, but cigarette companies like Marlboro, Newport, whatever, they pay for that shelf space. It's like they you don't think space. Jewel's doing the same thing. Man. That's what I'm saying. What, that's why I'm like to get to back to the beginning statement is that, you know, the, the vape money is not good enough or whatever. Um, but I honestly, as uh, that being said, regardless of fairness or whatnot, 
I don't, I don't mind it. Get them into a vape shop so they can actually talk to somebody about vaping and about the facts behind vaping, as opposed to going to a convenience store where you get a donut, a Red Bull, and a fucking Jewel, and the person doesn't know fucking six ways from sideways. Sideways, they just want you to give them the money and fucking leave. You know what comes with that, though, don't you? What? If they take uh, vapes out of gas stations and convenience stores and strictly a brick and mortar, you can bet your last dollar that online sales are going to follow. Online sales I mean, I are, it's, it's my understanding, they're already going to be gone. Um, yeah. The more info I get on it, the more. Which, okay, by the way, irritates the hell out of me because, <clears throat> well, we all know why. But it pisses me off that you want to take online sales away because of the 18. What about all the other 18 and up bullshit? They, they say, oh, you can't regulate it. You can't regulate it. Dude, you got, you got all these... Um, ID checking softwares and all this stuff, a blue check and stuff like that, that puts them, they're liable for that when you pay them to do that. So why, why all these other porn sites, adamandeve.com, all this other crap, you have to be 18 and up to purchase. What about the, the paint? I have to be freaking 18 years old to purchase paint. I mean, yet it, it, it's irritating. It's irritating. We know it's a double because none of that sword, shit's man. gone off the internet. Think about it. Like, there's no, there's no uh, uh, age verification or check, or there isn't like you know, on YouTube. You have like maturity filters and stuff like that. Twitch, man, they have a just chatting uh, thing now. It used to be IRL or like whatever, where people. The policy on Twitch, if you don't know Twitch, Twitch is a game streaming uh, website, but they used to have a policy where you had to, you had to be playing games. You could only be talking like a talking head, like we're doing right now. Uh, not gaming for like a certain amount of time. And if you, if you went over that time, then they would time you out or they would give you a suspension or a warning or whatever. Now they have chat channels based on just people like hanging out and chatting. And I'll tell you what, it's literally no different. It's, it's soft core. It's basically soft core porn. You have, you have, I mean, as a 12 year old boy or a teenage boy or whatever, seeing the way that some of the women are dressed on there and stuff like that, it's like, there's no age restriction there. So it's like, it's, it's, we know it's, it's, you know, the pot calling the pe the kettle black that, you know, what, what, what might work for one thing may not, you know, may should work for something else may should, um, but doesn't may necessarily. Should. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to speak like a Southerner. What? <laughs> oh boy. Remember the Alamo. Damn straight. So you my point. Did you buy a top side this week? I did not buy me a top side because I got one coming. Just like I oh, told did you. Did you buy me a top side? I got. I asked for a few of them because I'm in contact with Dovpo. He, I was talking to him, and he told me he was going to send me a couple. If he does, I'll give them to you guys. Um, not Joel because he has one. So I'll, yeah, I I'll give Joel. I support. And if, if they send me enough, I'll give Joel to Swaggins. So don't give me anything because then I'm going to expect things for being on this show. Hashtag alternate life. You got to give it back in mustache rides. Hashtag after show. There Hold it is. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. <laughs> <laughs> um, my point of view on this this whole banning sales and convenience store thing is it opens the door for more regulation and that's what we want to prevent so we let them take convenience stores from us the next thing is well guess what they're banned online they're banned in shops that are closer than you know 250 yards from a school zone or anything like that so you're going to deal with a lot of, and you know, a lot no, of places already that, deal with though. it. I mean, what's, huh? I'm not against that though. I mean, that's fine. If you want to make it, if it's, it's an adult industry, you want to treat it like other adult industries. Like, I mean, yeah. A dance Are liquor club stores banned from being a liquor store, a, a dance club. Yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. I think it's up to, I think it's up so to all where the it's market. located, the laws trend. in the area. Yeah. Follow the market it, trend. If that's fine, exactly. we don't need to argue about that. If liquor stores can't do it. I mean, strip club makes sense, like adult club, like adult shop. I mean, God forbid. Some um, some towns actually prevent any of those locations to be in their town at all. Yeah, no. Where I'm, where I live, um, we're not sanctioned for like strip clubs and stuff. Well, you have towns that like ban smoking cigarettes in their town. Yeah, you can't walk down the sidewalk or anywhere in the town and smoke a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Did you guys hear that Maryland? Uh... 
Maryland passed a law to make underage vaping sales uh, Which actually a criminal is, offense. You're right. You got, you can't smoke in our town. So you now pay taxes, it's, but you can't smoke. <laughs> so now in Maryland, it's not it's not a civil offense uh, to sell to a minor. Like if you accidentally sell to a minor, if you're doing it on purpose, like a total asshat, um, you you actually get a criminal charge with uh, some hefty fines and the fine goes up and then it goes up to something like three thousand dollars uh after the second offense i think the second offense is a thousand dollars i just had an epiphany first offense is 300 but i don't know if it says anything about jail time or anything but i think it's cool kind of um except for the fact that i mean what if i mean yeah you got a scanner and stuff like that but what if the card looks like the kid you know, there's all kinds what. of what ifs, I guess. I mean, what are you, your, y'all's opinions? There, there are law. As an aside, there are laws in this country that allow a minor to imbibe or drink. If you don't know what imbibe means, <laughs> fuck. Ostracize the whole. Stop I cussing at me, Swaggins. Ostracize the whole audience. Uh, basically, if you want to imbibe alcohol and it's related to a religion, you're allowed to do it. So why don't we? Create a religion and say we've been saying it all along. I'm saying, man, no, because there no, are no. laws that protect your right under the Constitution to be a religion, and under that umbrella, you can do certain things if it has to do with that. Like, I mean, religion is very. Can shove it at age two if they want to. Do you realize what you just said, Swaggins? What's that? Do you yeah. realize what you're you just encouraging said? underage drinking? No, I'm not. If you're a Jew, go for it. <laughs> and you can say that. You can say the hard J. Because you are one. Absolutely. I am a Jew. <laughs> Let me clarify that for anybody who's, you know, get melting in the heat uh, because snowflakes melt. Does anybody <laughs> else feel like uh, Joel should be wearing a big red suit with a Christmas tree, like right here in the, the white space on his right? Yeah, I agree. I, f- no, I feel, I feel like, like you're sitting in the presence. And, and there should I be f- some geishas around bringing, bringing him tea. And I feel like he's sitting in the, the mall, like Christmas display, like a little elf should be there and just a quick response to the people in chat uh Brittany and and nick were saying that you can buy liquor online uh not in massachusetts you can't it's it's again it's down to the state you know the the laws get stricter the closer you move to home so national laws are one thing but then you have to deal with state laws and local laws so yeah definitely cannot get liquor online in massachusetts Sorry, Joel. I brought the topic. I brought it back around. No, without a doubt. I don't think Joel's no, listening. Fine. I was trying I'm to poke listening. fun at Joel to like get him to speak. But he I, 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 I feel like he's talk. getting ready to rage. He's rewicking the profile. It takes a while. It's, an <laughs> it's really complicated to wick. It literally that thing, took man. me. Less than three minutes to build and wick the profile. It wasn't the profile. It was the uh, reload X. By, uh, um, all Have right. you vaped it yet? Pass. Is it the first time you're wicking it? Yeah. Are you wicking it with horizontals or verticals? Horizontals. Horizontals. I'm I'm curious to hear your thoughts because I'm going to build it as well. Um, I'm going to give my thoughts on it on a review where I'll probably be giving one away too, courtesy of Andy Vapes. Ooh. <laughs> I forgot. Look, I got a 30 mil dock. Isn't that cool? Yeah, you know, Miss Amy said it's a damn shame you ain't bought the uh, the top side yet because every top side purchase helps her get a hot water heater. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but who's gonna side purchase help you get a hot water dude, heater? Who's gonna install it? Drop <laughs> dead, bloody mess. Hope you get a uh, water heater as well, man. Can we right. have the vape wives back on the show again? I think they're absolutely stuck. That, that was absolutely. one of my favorite shows. Yes, that was actually that's one of uh one of the higher rated shows um of the vape stews actually. Uh future guests. I'll give you guys a little a little I know I don't normally do this, but I've already talked to Scott Zegans. Uh um, Yo yo yo. Yo yo yo. I've talked to Kate Moth of the Ohms and Amp show from Vape Radio. She's pretty cool. It'd be cool to have a, a another female on the show. Um and I'm open to suggestions. 
So, oh, look, Brittany Patrick. Hey, there's a vape wife right there in the chat. I need to look at chat. I haven't even Scarlett looked at Scarlett Johansson. Have Scarlett Johansson on. Scarlett Johansson done, man. I got her text. Man, see, that. I send her a text, and she sends me like 15 texts back and doesn't stop, and it gets like crazy. All right, well, do so. it for me. When you have to put your phone down, face down on the dinner table, that's when you got trouble. Speaking of face down, the new Pixel 3 has a shush mode where if you put it face down, it knows to silence all of your notifications. Thank, I love thanks my for Pixel that too. tidbit there. I appreciate that. I, I might be buying the tidbit. Pixel 3. I have. Mine's coming in three days. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. So, Nick, <laughs> why don't you run through and give us some of those Instagram shout outs, brother? All right. So I was not prepared for this. Once again, Stan, thank That's you. That's why I like to do it like that. So we have Witchy Mama. We have Viral underscore Hatched. Uh, let's see. Uh, any interesting photos here? We got uh, Viral Hatch has got the bloody mess as well on top of the White Dreamer as well. So he's totally ripping off uh, Joel's status there. Oh, my God. Matthew Crothers just posted my uh, my stack. Oh, I'm going to save that one for later. Ooh. <laughs> it's so sexy. Right it um, you just filed we've that got as a zombie. <laughs> Miranda Jones vapes. We've got, oh, let's see. I know there's a bunch of uh, people reposting stuff. Todd Black 5590. We've got Voodoo Vape. Uh, uh, Michelle Lynn Del Dime. Bad Mother Trucker underscore SCFC. I'm not even going to start with that spelling of that because it's a whole bunch of numbers in there as well. We got there's um, a lot early. While you Matthew look Crothers. For, sorry. Hold on. I I, I NorCal Sick Boy. Uh, I don't know. It, this is getting really tough because I posted something and there's a million likes there and it's probably go to your, too many to count go to right your, now. Go to your tags on the right. Huh? Um, your tags, your little tag tab. Yeah, if you're tagged in a in a photo. Oh well, those okay. Yeah, I see it. Okay, much easier. Yeah, let's do this way. Uh, that's why it's like freaking no. a monkey screw to football when you do this. I was curious. <laughs> I'm just um, looking through just my real notifications. Quick, Southern Omi says, "What about Bogan? He is one of the few reviewers who talk about advocacy in every video." I agree. And you know what? I've talked to Bogan multiple times about being on the stew and he would totally be in. However, if you weren't in Australia, he says the F word too much for Stan. No, no, no. He's in Australia. So we would have to actually do the stew on a different day for him to make it because when the stew's going on, I think he's in like a, a, a football league. He's in a soccer league. And uh, he plays during the stew. So, um, also, I've talked to the vaping biker, and he wanted to be on too. But again, it's one of those things where it's 3 a.m. there when the show's on, and he doesn't like being up that late. So, um, we would have to do it on a different day. Go ahead, Nick. All right, we got Jacoby Vapes 07. We've got uh, Cali Vape Girl. Oh my Lanta, Shadow Link Vapor, Clouds of Mass Destruction, Frames Janklin Vapor, Vapor underscore Swaggins posting the original meme this time, this time the the thumbnail image, if you will, Stranger Stew. There it is. <laughs> and I don't look that bad. And I'm I'm one of the main characters there. What what's that kid's name? I've never watched the show. No I'll teeth, the curly hair. Sure. Let's go with that. I'll but tell yeah, you what, I'm getting better. I'm getting better at Photoshop. You're welcome. That is that is our Instagram shout outs. And if if you will allow me to transition into our next topic. Yes. What is our next uh, topic? We should talk about uh, integrity. Integrity? Does anyone know anything about integrity nowadays? You know, integrity. 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 What do you want to talk about integrity for? Wait, so, integ- integrity or integrity? Integrity, you know. Integrity. South Park. Okay. Oh, goodness integrity <laughs> or integrity? I'm confused. It's integrity. Oh, look, like integrity. Look, 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 you haven't, look. You haven't watched the episode. I take it. No nope. integrity. Listen. So South Park <laughs> basically just destroyed us in an episode of uh, of their show, uh, making fun of the vape, vapor industry, 
uh, poking fun at the underage sales to kids. I mean, the sixth graders were selling to third graders. The third graders were selling to kindergartners. And Butters opens up his trench coat to reveal jewel pods. So um, the real funny thing is the fact that they've been in fucking fourth grade for the last, what, 10 years? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, so they're probably them. like they're legitimacy they're probably yeah. like 21 by now. But yeah, um, yeah they, they really were taking the piss out of us pretty hardcore. And uh, has anyone else seen the episode? Fuck yeah. No, I ain't gonna watch that bullshit. I'm not gonna give them my time, my view, or any kind of support, man. I don't even share the. I'm interested. Where can I find it? <laughs> they everybody's sharing a damn screen in South Park talking about it. Well, what do you think that's gonna do? That's gonna make more people go watch it. You know, don't share stupid shit like that. Just leave it where the fuck it lies. If you leave a dead dog lie, that's where he's at. If you pick him up and try to move him around, it's gonna stink and it's gonna stir up shit. Why do it? Why share it? Why? Why even bother? And one another thing I got to know is, you know, I see a lot of grown men watching a damn cartoon instead of finding a way to make a better living for themselves, their families, and just being more positive impact to this earth instead of just killing time watching damn cartoons all day. Get off your ass. Do something. Uh, productive. Uh, don't you can't do negative, that. Don't you can't, fuel that shit. You can't and now that. I will quote Look. an excerpt from the Federalist Papers. Hold on, Swags. <laughs> okay. Look, you can't you can't attack people for watching a fucking cartoon, man. Okay, that's 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 one. Two, I haven't watched it. I'm probably not going to. That's just because I don't. You should. It's funny. Watch well, the world of see, Warcraft. But but that's the thing. That's the thing about South Park. It's a cartoon. They make fun of everybody. That's it. There's a lot of shit to make fun of with Vapor Industry. I mean, I get it. It's fine. I don't care. I mean, it's 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 just comedy. It's whatever how it is if you're not offending somebody you're not doing comedy so that's that's what it is let it roll uh 49.99 holy crap uh own life buck thank you very much for the donation we greatly appreciate it um that's it he didn't put anything in there he just says 49.99 that's home life. he actually shot me an instagram message said hey man watch what i do on the stew tonight gonna show the support we have for you guys i said man and he actually donated over on uh, the live stream for suicide prevention as well. That's so awesome. thank you for that as well. That is awesome. <clears throat> um, yeah, if you guys don't know, but, yep, it's all good. Um, sorry, I got a text from Ohm Life Buck. Um, basically, Michelle, Dole Dime Mods, uh, Lynn, and uh, Jared the Vaping Goat, and Vaping with Ken is over on vaping with Ken's channel right now doing a 24 hour live stream in support of, um, uh, I don't know how to say suicide it, prevention, suicide prevention. There we go. I don't know why that's so hard for me to remember. I know what it's for. I know what they're doing. I just can never get it out of my dang mouth. Uh, okay. So I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I just, can, I just don't, can wanna... I, uh, go ahead. I just want to give my, my two cents in here with, as far as the South park topic, this is not the first time we've ever been made fun of on TV and in, in a satirical way. Uh, there was an episode of the Samantha B show filmed at a vape convention up here in new England. Uh, it was actually at the national vape expo at Foxwoods um, where she just ripped us apart as well, but she actually included some, some truth in the matter as, as well. And uh, in fact, South park did too. If you watch the episode, uh, Cartman actually says that vaping is healthier than smoking. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, they made fun of wow. us for sounds half like an hour. Plot. Like this sounds like a real life uh, parody on Scott Godlib. Exactly. And uh, <laughs> it's it's really funny because they used an actual person from the industry in the show w without like cr crediting him or anything. But the really funny part is if you type in vape douche, to Google image search, he will come up as one of the top search results for the character that they based him off of in the show. <laughs> so right. his name's Joe Petner. He's a real person. He's been in the industry forever. And uh, he's not a douche. He's, he's actually a pretty cool dude. Um, but, you know, everyone has seen a picture of him before. I can almost guarantee you, if you've ever searched anything vape related, his picture comes up. But if you search vape douche into Google images, you'll find a picture of Joe Petner. Um, but with that, 
so go ahead, do your shout out. Scott Zegans donated nine ninety nine. He says, "Yo, yo, yo! Thank you very much, good sir." And Dermont Dillon, thirty dollars. Thanks for the package, Stan. Loving the Reverie Dreamer combo. Awesome, buddy. I'm glad you got it, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, okay, so and I'm gonna say real quick. I retract my statement. I can't tell you what to watch or what to do. I can't. You do what you want to do. Support what you want to support. It's fine. I can't tell a grown individual to do what to do and when to do it and how to do it. You know what I mean? It's of your personal judgment. Make the decision you see fit. If you want to support that, go support that. I have nothing against it. That's 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 on you, not me. Thank you, Joel, for clarifying for those who just can't understand the fact that that was implied anyways. <laughs> so audience, appreciate Joel for being a man of character. <laughs> But, you know, it, we've been made fun of before. We will be made fun of again as far as a satirical platform is concerned. We, we just have to get used to it because this is a growing industry. I mean, smoking has been made fun of in a satirical way for a Dude, number of years as well. Anybody remember Vine? Dude, everybody, everybody made fun of. Like, this is before I even started vaping when Vine first started. And I remember watching it and everybody, like, it was like, oh, the vaping douche. It's like, oh, you've even vape, bro? You vape, bro? Like, that was a fucking thing. And it's always going to be there. And people, I mean, it, it'll happen in every kind of hobby fad thing that you do. People make judgments and assertions and make fun of it because they don't understand it. And that's right. What is it? That, if, that, if that makes you butt hurt, then you got, you got to check your priorities. It's funny and it's humorous. It's all life and games until it's over with. And then everybody's going to be, oh, well, I want to do this. And how can my country take this from me? Well, go back and watch that cartoon again. Maybe you'll get a laugh out of it. For real. <laughs> Joel, why don't you read uh, read that donation there, buddy? Home life book, brother, man, for Joel and his epic profile. Man, you already know I respect you, dude. You do not have to come in here and throw money. It is greatly appreciated. But home life book has a lot of respect. He's a lot like me. He's an outspoken individual. He's gotten crossways in the past. <laughs> I've actually had to sit down and chit chat with some companies that he went that he went ham on them, and you know I told him, "Look, is he right or is he right?" Yeah. And that's your choice. So and, uh, in 1999, like a lot of respect for the dude. 1999 can almost buy you another profile. So damn, there you go. that's that's respect right there. There you go. Um, which you can get on lucidrda.com. <laughs> uh, and he gave 49.99 earlier, so he's given a total of like. Dude, Six two or two and a half dollars. <laughs> it's like two, two profiles right there. <laughs> Wait, nineteen ninety nine and forty nine. So seventy two and a half. So besides, Joel, I'm curious, man. Um, what have you seen coming out lately that you're interested in, man? There's, I like I said earlier, I got a, I got a big old load of vape mail today. Um, that's not normal for me. I normally get like a little thing here, a little thing there. But I got a load today, a bunch of cool stuff that actually I'm pretty excited about all of it. Um, what do you... I got the uh, <laughs> Dot RDA single today, a little flavor banger from Dot Mod. Uh, the United Society of Apes Arc Mod. Uh, Asmode is supposed to be shooting some stuff over this way for me to look over and look at. I'm very interested in that. Some of it I can show, some of it I cannot. I thought you already had the Arc Mod. I'm not the art mod. I said the damn art mod. The VIA 240. Uh, uh, okay. Their sister company. Uh, just did the review on that. Uh, I see Michelle's got you a little build station worked up. Dude, that thing looks pretty interesting. If you want to yeah, talk about something yeah. interesting, that's really interesting. Well, I had this really kick-ass one built by Mark Clough of uh, of uh, the Gathering oh, Vapor nice. Lounge. It's a DNA 75. And a long time ago, Michelle, she had a big old tin and we were talking in a video chat and she showed it to me. And before Mark made this for me, I told her, I was like, man, I've been looking for like a killer, cool build station. That would be like, that'd be really cool looking if that was a build station. She's like, yeah, maybe I'll make it a build station for myself. And, uh, and she, we got to talking or whatever. And she's like, I'm going to make you a build station out of this stand. And that was months ago. And then, uh, all of a sudden she's like, Hey, uh, I'm building, I'm working on your build station the other day on Instagram live. And I went on there and she made it. It's an old Lipton tin. And she said it's like 80 years old or something. Nice. And she made it a triple parallel 18650 build station. How cool is that, man? Like you, you can vape could vape off of that. 
Yeah, you'll be able to vape off of it, but you can basically awesome. you can basically build whatever you want. I mean, I never build down low enough to you know do anything bad to a triple parallel. What's that? Oh my buck said he got to step out for a second, so I was just saluting him, letting him no respect. Yeah, uh, the goat. The goat's scheduled to come out. I've seen Dwayne teasing that. Uh, had a little conversation about that. Got some insight to that. Very anxious to see that. It takes a coil head is what people are saying. So ready, ready, really ready to see that and see what comes of that. I know they really spent a lot of time perfecting that and trying to make it be successful. The price point, 36 bucks. Dude, that is on par where it needs to be. So really, really anxious to see what comes out of that camp. Um uh, the Delta by Revenant and TBL. Really anxious to see that one. The, the way Revenant. They did the... Uh, cartel mod. The Cartel Revenant. Yes, yes. And that RDA that um, was kind of like Brian's, yeah? Yep. The uh, the Obelisk. Obelisk. Yes, sir. Yes. And it's supposed to be coming with a reload. It's supposed to be a different sleeve or the sleeve, uh, a new style sleeve with the reload style build deck of the RDTA, the TVL done. Really anxious to see that. Uh, you got one of them big old brick boxes from TVL, that collab box. Over Dude, there. hell yeah. Uh, by the way, I saw a super chat 299 from Francisco Estrada. He said, plan B's and Citadels. What did I do with it? How could you lose it? Yeah, dude, this thing. Oh, my what gosh. The Citadel? What are your first thoughts on the Citadel? Um, I put too big a build in it is my first thoughts. I put a point one three st uh, staggered staple thingy bobber in here, and it's just too much coil. It's hot. It's not enough airflow. Um, yep. It's on a mech. So I need to probably either put it on a regulated box or just yes. change the build. But this yes. plan B box, man, I was – I was telling somebody earlier, I don't remember who I was telling, but, uh, oh, it was in the, it was in the discord. This thing is a solid piece of brass, man. It's heavy, but I'm like, I've carried it around for three days. Cause, or no, I've been carrying it around for a week. Cause I've been testing it. I've been wanting to make sure like it's cool. I've been uh, kind of playing with it a lot, you know, vaping different builds on it. And, uh, it's, it's a parallel, unregulated no mosfet not like it's 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 just wired to the switch so i'm guessing it's a high amperage switch since it doesn't get hot or anything um have you taken it apart i've seen it taken apart i haven't taken mine apart but i will i'm gonna take mine apart pretty far um and see what happens i want to see it taken apart down past the switch i want to see behind that switch what yeah have. sure I, you know what i'll do that for you bro uh i'm actually going to have a second one so if i don't destroy this one while oh damn it <laughs> if i don't destroy this one while taking it apart um i'll be giving it away i'll be giving one of them away uh on the patron patreon so this is the collab box and dude it's it's heavy it's a, a couple of pounds of milled brass and i picked up i was telling them i picked up this quad 18650 paris series titan earlier after using this for a few days straight and i picked this up off the counter downstairs and i thought my wife stole the batteries out of it <laughs> i did i swear i opened it up and checked and everything the batteries are still in it i was like holy crap man like i couldn't like, i just got so used to carrying this heavy ass thing around but it just feels raw substantial just feels what size batteries 18, 20, 50, 2700 or 21700 i believe yeah i've got 30 t's right. in it right now and the the machining and dude i don't care what anybody says look at that logo that plan b logo is just classy bro it's classy it looks good the tvl logo is on there and everybody knows the tvl logo but it's just a nice mod it's not i mean it's got branding on it a lot but it's all the same color of the mod so it's not like sticking out in your face can i don't you get like it in black don't like that you can get it in black oops i just kicked something uh let's see here uh, Batman, what's up, brother? Pleasure to have one. you in here, man. Is it Chinese made or American made on that one? Do you know or has that been clarified? I have inquired. I will let you know when I find out. I'm pretty sure it's Chinese made, but mm -hmm. if it's not, I will verify. Um, it doesn't feel Chinese made. <clears throat> but we also know that 
that doesn't really matter in quality standards. Uh, no, I'm just go, asking because it has no, TBL on one side and Plan B on the other. Plan B being Chinese made, TBL being American made. Like, no, I know. Mean? No big. Yeah, I, I'm not saying like anything about it. I'm just saying that like with the Dreamer and with a couple other things, and now this, the China, China's really done a good job lately with a lot of stuff, man. Uh, so, yeah, I like Dan, it a how lot. How do you feel about having the number one mech again, pure vaping 360s? Hole this year back to back for you man congratulations on that and how do you feel about it uh it's awesome man i never expected that it would do as good as it did the first like from this beginning you know like i just wanted to do a cool mech that was affordable and uh <clears throat> back to back dude that means it came out it was 17's number one it came Went out in year, november year. of 2011 What's or that? i'm sorry it came out it came <laughs> out November of 2011. Yeah. <laughs> it came out in November of 2017. Uh, oh, man. But, so I wasn't even born that. in 2011. It, out, it was the number one for 17. So everything within the year of 17, the Dreamer was number one. It stayed out, no changes to it, another year. You, you offered different versions of it, but again, another whole year. That means everything that's been released prior still didn't hold water to what you did, not this year but the year before. How does yeah. that make you feel, man? Like, that has to be a hell of a feat. And it should be giving you some bragging rights or, you know, bargaining rights with your, you know, oh, dude, time it, fate. It's definitely <laughs> cool, man. I think it's awesome. And what I think is really cool is the – the um, Dave B., I see your comment in the, in the chat, buddy. I'll address that in just a minute. Um, the company – that they're holding it to that standard with um like broadside um soi uh it, it's who else was it um elf the elf thunder mod i mean there's some really nice mechs that are a bit more pricey than the dreamer and the the dreamer they're saying that it beat them all out so that's that's freaking awesome man i mean and you like what did the you're on the list too, man, for the profile? What did the profile get to? Look, man, I was raised with uh, the Ricky Bobby mentality. You either first or you last. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't congratulate second and third places. It's first and nothing. Sweet infant <laughs> Jesus. Well, well considering eight pounds, seven ounce. Sorry about that. Considering how many RDAs came out on the market, uh you know, within the year, it's pretty cool to be in the top three, buddy. No, it's an honor. I'm proud of it. Uh, I'm proud of everything it's done. I just, like I said, I'm ready for 19 now. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, it's just my mentality. Don't be comfortable. You know, if, if I was in first, I would probably still have the same mentality. Like, hey, don't be too comfortable because that means somebody's coming for you, you know, and uh, friendly competition to uh, heathen and, uh, Brian, I want that first place next year. Well, I'll tell you this. <laughs> I'm coming for myself. That's all I got to say. Uh, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, don't get done. We won't. I'm not, you know, I'm not even going to say no more. You keep your mouth <laughs> shut there, Mr. Just Right. I know, I know what you're, where you're going. Hey, Nick, uh, what do you got in the mail lately that you are excited about? Or what have you seen that you're hoping to get? Cause I know you, I know you're getting a lot of gear all the time, buddy. Well, I, I did do a, a temporary hiatus for a little bit of actually <laughs> responding to emails and getting stuff in. But, uh, now that the Chinese new year or Chinese new year, Chinese <laughs> holiday, sorry, Chinese holiday is over. Uh, I've started re responding to some emails and, and, uh, you know, getting some s stuff taken care of. I have got, uh, quite a few things on the way to me right now. I've got, uh, the steam crave, uh, what is that? The big, bad, big, badass one that you got there. Oh, um, the Titan PWM Titan mod and Titan RDTA. I got that coming oh, in. Oh, Dude, you got the Titan RDTA. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that uh, thing's crazy, man. So that should be here soon. Uh, I've got something from Joy Tech coming in. I believe it's their 10th anniversary AIO. Uh, I've got a thing from Steeped Vape Co. in the UK. They're sending me one of their, like, kind of a, a quit stick. 
kind of thing. It's it's almost like uh it's like an AIO sort of kit, uh, but it's meant for beginners, which is awesome. Uh, Vapefly, what are they sending me? Uh, the Galaxy RTA, Pixie. No, it's called the Pixie RDA. So that's something. Uh, what is this one? The Pixie looks dope. The Pixie looks real dope. If you haven't seen it, dude, that thing looks like a flavor banger from hell. I really want one of those. I I literally haven't even seen it. I just I responded feel, to the I email. Feel the same way about the Shogun. The Shogun RDA. The show about that one. Really? That's by uh, Bruce. Bruce Innovations. Uh, uh, he did the Bushido. Mm. He did a whole bunch of them. It looks like it, it doesn't look original in it by any means, but I thought the Bushido like was Dove Poe. Bruce may have done it with them. It's his design, though. I mean, I spoke yeah. to the guy on the phone about about it because I had some ideas about the Shogun, and I'm anxious to get that one as well. And you I know told what? Him my feedback after I put my hands on it. What I was really excited about from Bruce Innovations that I was super disappointed with was that armor <laughs> kit, the um the dual parallel squonk that came with an RDA, and it was just a switch on and off. Um, they came in purple and red, I think. Speaking of switches on and off, that Dovpo V man, I want to see a lot more <clears throat> voltage only mods i would love to see that ah i have one the um the v the duffpo v i told you guys last week i was gonna put it i just remembered i told you guys i was gonna put it in the facebook group vape stew crew facebook group uh and i didn't i will this week i apologize it'll happen i'll take Wait. care of it vape stew titanium goon cap on top of the dovpo v uh gifted to me by none other than nick Bissett because i finally won something from one of the patreon streams <laughs> also and I'm i gonna... met you in person i hand delivered you that. met me <laughs> also i'm gonna put in that with the dovpo v i'm gonna put in a reverie a reverie glass cap from Ooh. trinity glass vape that's now available on lucidrda.com dude all right. Um, and a red drip tip to match. So I'm gonna. It's gonna be a black reverie, a glass cap, and a red drip tip. All right. There. As an aside, or on the same topic, Livia Lee, one of our glorious wrenches, she just posted the link to the Facebook. Join. Did you Did you not just hear what you're? You could have the possibility of winning. I mean, team free shit or not team free shit. That is an awesome fucking giveaway. Join the group. Answer. The questions it'll take two seconds i'll tell you i'll tell you the answers to the questions now first question if the answer can. is okay second question the answer is tenacious tx vapes third question the answer is mike vapes grim green uh <laughs> jelly vape tv okay that's that's what all that those are your answers right there you got the answers now if you answer don't the answer the questions you me. won't be accepted uh that's just how the moderators do it and i back them with i back them so that's that's the rules um also damn what was i gonna say oh dave b he's been posting in the the chat i saw it twice and i want to address it what do you and i'm gonna ask you guys the panel sorry i just got juice all over my hand i'm sitting here licking my lips like i'm eating chicken wings <laughs> Cheetos, um, Cheetos and takis. yeah right <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back to it. Where is it? Dave B. Dave B. He said, may I suggest that all, actually, he didn't say it that politely, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, he said, uh, yeah, maybe he did. I don't know. He's he, want, he was asking if we would donate all the Super Chat today to the 24-hour live stream that Michelle is doing for suicide prevention or suicide awareness it's uh, what, prevention. Do you guys, what do you guys think yeah thumbs up what percentage of the money actually goes to the court to, to the, i can't um, hear you joel you're too far away from your mic stan i told you a long time ago man i stand now you're did muted. he just mute himself <laughs> stan, i told I you this a long time ago stan that any super chats that come into this channel, that's not for me. This is on your channel. Well, you know, yeah. I don't have a say so or a care in the world of what you decide to do with that money, man. That is on you. That to consult okay, on us well, is just like, man, I have nothing to say on it, man. It's your decision. It's your channel. 
Okay. You know, like, well, we're, we're blessed just, to be here. I'm so I like to, to include. Here. I like to include everybody in the decision for the vape stew stuff. So man, yes, I think it's a good you, idea, you, and you, I think we should smart do that. Businessman, you know what to do with you know what needs to be done, and everybody knows that this isn't a free deal. To run this channel is not free. The you question, know, the real question is, is, the real question is, are you going to make the Jew tally up all the money that we've gotten? No. <laughs> All right, uh, no. Why do I picture you with an adding machine? Like, no, I have one of the ones with little fucking wooden things. That you yeah, a little, yeah. an abacus. Yeah, yeah. Abacus. abacus. Yeah, yeah. Oh he's all. <laughs> it's right over there, man. It's next to my my. No, door. yeah, we will. We will definitely do that, Dave B. Thank you for the suggestion. I think that's a cool idea, and uh, we'll, I'll tell you what. After the show, I'll go over there and do it live on their stream. We'll just drop it in their super chat. Sweet. So if you guys want um, to donate on behalf of the stew to the suicide prevention stream, then uh, any super chats you throw in from now until this stream is over, we will donate there. That's awesome, That's Dermot idea, Dylan. Actually. Great job. On, on behalf of the stew, I like it. Yeah, yeah, on behalf of the stew. And I'll just say it's from all the stooges. Or you can go over to the stream while you do we're that in too. this stream and do that and just say, we did this on behalf of the stew. We'll oh throw, yeah, uh, our mods will uh, will occasionally throw the link in the chat for us. Um, and and the other thing is, we're all going to be over there after the show here. So, Sammy made a point because some people like uh, transparency. Uh, you know, Red Cross. Like if you're like if you've ever given money to a foundation before, Sammy Nitro says eighty five percent of the funds given to them goes directly to prevention and fifteen percent to run everything. There you go. Those are the numbers. Uh, and actually, I. I was just talking about this with my boss because we have one of those little donation things at our shop and, you know, he was concerned over that. And I, I was doing some homework on this and up to 25% administration costs is actually good. Like anything below 25% administration costs is actually like a damn good charity. So really? just putting that out there. That's yeah. good to know. Um, Vape and Fish told me that I need to make a – mech box and call it the nightmare <laughs> Ooh. dude i would do that but uh, i got lots of stuff going on right now buddy quad i don't know how to say your name buddy i'm Quasimodo. sorry Quasimodo. quajar quad junior quad junior wager <laughs> vapes i don't know man a dollar 99 thank you very much for the donate donation sir all right, cool. It's, it's a soft J. Week. It's pronounced last week. Yeah, I mispronounced it. He spelled it out for me exactly. So just look at the chat. Oh, it's, it's coming then, huh? Exactly how to pronounce it. It's I coming. Promise. Look, okay. All right. I got, okay. Totally cool. If you want to tell me, <coughs> if you want to tell me how to say it right, I will say it right for you. Absolutely. I might not, expect, still mess it I up. might not remember it next time. Quar. But you can't spell your name out like that and then get mad when people mispronounce it. I'm not saying you get mad. I'm just saying. I know people that get mad when you mispronounce their name, and it's like, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Sorry, not sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I do it every time. I'm like, I'm going to murder your name. Sorry. <laughs> he said, all of you can spend $2. Uh, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We're going we're gonna to donate it over there at the Suicide Prevention Chat. What do you think Parallel Mechs went the way of the Dodo? Why do you think Parallel Mechs went the way of the Dodo? I don't. Oh, that poor Dodo. Here's a parallel unregulated box. I don't. I mean, mechs. I. I well, that's that's saying no one missed them because no one missed the dodo. So I think that it should be like gone by the wayside of I don't know some other important extinct animal. Well, the um, there's shots the, fired at the dodo. I'm sorry. What's the name of the guy that does uh that does the DS? Um, the DS uh, Defiant Designs. Yes. I mean, uh, Design Desire. Defiant Greg design. Stevens, yes. The Greg Stevens is a, is a parallel mech box. Um, Defiant Designs box. Uh, so they're around, man. And you know what? Honestly, a MOSFET parallel unregulated box is just as good and is protected. I mean, I, I, I love a parallel MOSFET box. I absolutely do. I have one right here. I have one. I have two up there. And... Uh, I don't have enough. Well, yeah, I have the the Warlock's Hammer 21700 parallel, which, <laughs> dude, 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 do you see this thing? You see how pretty this thing oh. is? Oh, oh, this thing's awesome. Yeah, your voltmeter's on the inside, you bastard. 
I'm the only I one that'll ever Batman have it like that. The Dos Equis, you know, Castador, 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 whatever how you pronounce it. Or, dude, them things are fly because they were super small, really compact. Those are Philippine Equis, mods, Equis. though, right? What's that? Those are Philippines mods. Uh, Far East, I think, is what it was created that Far East Creations. I don't know who they are, or where they're out of, but I know they were some kicktail mods. <laughs> They actually had some stab wood ones at a local shop I visited today. Went by and visited with the owner. Uh, some stab wood versions of those. All I think they're all prototype cereals too. All four zeros on all of them. Wow. Really, really nice oh, yeah. dude. <laughs> you know, Batman got the same taste, man. That's just somebody. You know, we talking about people we need to have on. We need to have Batman. We on. need, dude. That's another guest. I totally forgot. I haven't talked to him. In the chat, one day he was on the stew, and I told him we were going to have him on through the stew. I don't even remember what stew that was, but I need to follow through with that, don't I? Dude, yeah. I love Batman, yeah. man. Yeah. Not only that, I wouldn't want him to come find me because he's a big dude. If he got mad. You want Batman to on. find you? Do you want him to swoop him up, swoop, swoop him up and use his grappling hook thing and... Sorry, what, what is it? A batarang? Have is you heard the called? story of why he's called Batman? Oh boy, I'm sure we're about to hear it. No, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, he tells it a few times on his channel. You guys should go check out Fogging Out with the Batman. I, I want to show you guys something really cool. Dude, I should have bought some apple juice. There's only Next a... Friday night, he's at home. Let's book him right now. Batman, I've if I have anything to do with it, you're here next Friday for Stu. <laughs> Fogging Out with the Batman, You send me a message, buddy, and we'll lock you in for next Friday if you want. All right, check this out. I wanted to show you guys. You see this? Bam! Yeah. Joel knows what this is. <gasps> Dude, those are so clean. Independence Day, limited editions. Everybody on the panel is going to get one. Nope. Stan, <laughs> Stan bought out the last few numbers that they had of the limited editions. There's only 24 made. I think there was six left because they, they took them down from their site. They made them for the 4th of July. And they come with a reverie drip tip, and, and these reverie. are the ones that fit nice and cool. <laughs> it's it's a cool it's a cool shape and it matches. And they made them specifically, and it fits snug down on top of that angled cap on top of the reverie, because they were selling these with kits. Yeah. So I'm gonna sell them cheaper than they were selling them because it's not gonna include a reverie. In my opinion, they're not expensive enough. <laughs> but my opinion says I'm... the hard J E W hard J. You fucking call me a Jew. Go for it. But Joel, you had uh... <laughs> all right. Enough of that. Enough of that. Come, Come on. on, man. If it went to twenty-seven, I'd have bought number twenty-seven, Stan. If it went to twenty-seven, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. It Is out this only... and just like <laughs> what? Just scratch it out and write twenty-seven on it. What batteries do these fit? This is... eighteen six fifty and twenty-seven hundred. Nope. No, twenty six fifty and twenty six fifty. That's right. My apologies. Yeah. What did, you had one of these, didn't you? One of these yes, types of mods. What did you think? Yes, I had. Uh, they missed the mark on it, man. I think it should have been twenty one seven hundred. Uh, twenty seven twenty one seven hundreds were available at the time. Uh, when I vaped it on eighteen six fifty, the Armageddon Squonk that you gave one away and Days of Tech sent me a red one, dude. It hits harder. And with an 18650 than that mod does right there. And you think so? I'm not a fan of Armageddon by no means, but that squonk that they got, they got something right in that box because it rocks. I mean, it, it'll blow the doors off. Well, I haven't but, tried this yet. It's got silver contacts. Um, it's super, super clean, man. I mean, it's the machining it is. on it's clean. Nice, beautiful it's piece. I a love beautiful it. box. I mean, so I'm going to be putting the last six of these in existence up on the site. You guys can snag if you want to. It's um, handmade, and it's the 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 lines are so flush you can literally oh, yeah. not even tell the difference between the metal and the uh, resin. Look, did you see how that was made? One, two, three, four layers of resin, but I mean, it's oh smooth as silk. He could have okay. created the mask. So, you guys know you know how they made that where you can't see the line between the aluminum and the resin itself. No. They casted the aluminum into the resin, then milled them down as one. Oh, that's badass. <laughs> that's awesome. Respect. That, it's a very, very <laughs> kick-ass design. Because the line is that is that good, even on the inside where the battery tray meets the resin. 
in here. Is that I mean, a there's, silky bottle? You, you can't even feel it. It's a nice squishy bottle. I don't know what it is. Let's see here. It's got a logo on it. Nope, it doesn't. It has lines on it. Those are currently, those are on loosesaturday.com right now. No, they aren't. They will be. Oh, I need one. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait, Justin Merrill says, here's $2 for Swaggin's pot addiction. <laughs> <laughs> what What are, <laughs> yeah, I do. It's, it's, fun, isn't it? It's yeah, you're weird. you're bad with the pods, bro. Yeah. So, uh, wait, 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 wait. What are the contacts made out of again? Um, I don't know if they're solid silver, but they're definitely silver. They're at least silver plated. Dude, um, I think I need to get one of those. I'm gonna go Screw back and find hands. out. I wouldn't be surprised if they were solid silver, honestly. You know what? I figured it out. Well, I'm buying one uh, audience. Maybe you should too. But like, <laughs> I'm buying one audience. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Not before um, they do, you know what? It's uh, we've been on for an hour and fifteen minutes, an hour or so. Um, mm -hmm. Let's jump into the this or that question of the week. Yeah, let's Wh do that. What do you say, Swaggins? Hey, what's up? Oh wait, Dave Saytech, I've got a Furian, and I freaking love that mod. I got one too. Yep, Lost Vape. They make good products, except for this Orion, man. I don't know how I feel about it yet. You Literally, know, I'm not get this. I don't see the DNA, the purpose of the DNA chip in it. It seems like overkill. But Absolutely. I can tell you this: I don't leave the house without this little sucker. So well, I, don't, I have, I have like I feel about other it, pods. I take it with me everywhere I go. Here's the deal: uh, Kuwaiti Vapor Aziz said, "You want a good mouth lung? Try closing the airflow off completely." I literally vape this with no airflow, and that gives it. It's that makes still it a not. Good you think so? It's still too yeah, loose for it. me. I vaped it that way as well. Dude. Right. Oh, Close actually. The airflow off all together. Oh, and it's completely long, shut? Finally. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, completely okay. shut. No airflow show. Hold on. Let me turn off the hard here because I know that that's going to freaking hit me in the throat. I have, so it on blue. I have it on blue. This or that. To buy an Orion or not buy an Orion. Just kidding. That's a, that's harsh. <clears throat> With well, I don't. You're you're vaping what? Freebase. I'm vaping salts. How how high? See, I like it a little loose though. See, just my style. That's what I she like, said. I like it nice and tight. It's I'm tight. a loose. <laughs> that's what she I said. I like it loosey goosey. Damn no, it! Um... I should have waited. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You know, I'm gonna test this out with the airflow completely closed because this. Thank you, Kuwaiti Vapor Aziz. I hope you're awake over there in Arab land. Um, <laughs> what do you call it? It's it's actually satisfying this way, but if it burns the coil out, then fuck it. I'm done. I'll send it to Nick Bissett because he's got uh, Vapor View. Every channel. pod system ever. Yeah. How's the Asmodus <laughs> flow? Do you have that one? Got one coming. It'll be this week. Let me know how that is. If you hate it, send it to me. I want it anyways. Oh, I have so an announcement to make. What is flow? Oh, no, I don't have that one. Do you guys want an announcement? Who loves, who loves their black electroplated dreamers? I don't care for the black one. The white one's the only one to buy. The white uh, one I like is my, um, sexy ass. I use a black I the, button. I got the black button right there with that gold profile on top. And you but that white. I need a black that white button stand. Better. Like, honestly, I wish, well, I don't wish with all my wishes, but I wish with some of my wishes that instead of buying <laughs> a couple my LE, that I bought a white one. But I love Ooh. this LE. So I have three Ooh. dreamers. I'm done at three until the next one. Uh, Wait, Justin Hawkins is asking about the unicorn mod, I think. I didn't see your question, Justin. Uh, Got a super chat it. Hello, taking a voop <laughs> no. with Will Smith. Just tag at the in the name so that that way I see it. Um, <clears throat> hashtag Stan name. likes it loose. Yes, thank you, Miranda. I do. Billy Bates, 215, said he needs that white dreamer with his pearl white. Uh, Drop dead. No, dead rabbit. And Dude. Man, it doesn't match up. The, no, the white on the dreamer is like a pure white, and this is a pearl white, and they clash really, really hard. It's Dude, like semi gloss. It's how not about this? like super high gloss. Like how about the, this? The doesn't, doesn't Plan B, the dock, 
RDA doesn't. Yes, it, it comes in white. Yes, how about does. this? That would be a good match. You can buy one, get one right now. Oh yeah, you can, and you can get twenty percent off with code October on the Plan B. Yeah, twenty five percent off. So twenty five percent off, and on top of that, buy one get one with Bogo, dude. Go get one. It's a twenty four millimeter RDA. People rave about it. Go watch some. Uh, watch. I got Stan. the thirty mil. Do a review. On the uh, doc, you can watch my doc RDA review. There you go. Nick Bissett has a doc on Daily Vape TV. I got one too. So it doesn't Joel go watch and their reviews too. on it if you think it looks like it's for you. Shit, if it doesn't, twenty five percent off and you buy one get one free. That's ridiculous. I liked it, ah. so go buy one. I have or okay, one so and get two over on Plan B dot dot edu. So Justin Hawkins is asking me about this MDX unicorn mod. And uh, yeah, I've been playing with it the whole show, man. That's what she said. But you're, you're killing it with them tonight, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm lo- I'm, I like it. I like it a lot. The the white brass is real sexy. We'll see what it looks like in a couple of days. And June caps fit um, on the, on the uh, dock. Sorry. The but the announcement that I wanted to make: not only are the white dreamers and the uh, Reverie glass caps on LucidRDA.com right now, but something is coming very soon. It's called a uh, winter black the black, the black black stack sections. One if by land, two if by sea. <laughs> Electroplated black stack sections. We're from Massachusetts. We have to know that. Ben Franklin invented yeah. electricity. <laughs> so when I get those, I'll also be getting the uh the the springs, the 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 switch springs. So if you need a switch spring, I'll have those too. Like I said last week. But yeah, buddy, I'm I'm enjoying the I'm enjoying the MDX for sure. Uh, I've kind of got an idea. I've got not an idea. I've got a um, an ink. I, I don't know how to say it. I've got. I kind of think this came from a certain manufacturer in China. Um, say it, I mean, man. You don't know how to say it. You know how to say it. Say it. I, I swear. I swear. This You're came. From, I swear. King Two made these. Dude, I'll uh, I'll let you know and I'll let you know. Tonight. No, I swear, dude. Look, we can ask I'll him. Show I can you, ask the guy. I know. I'll him. show you why right him. now. <laughs> I'll show you why right now. I look. promised him I'd sell two hundred titanium goons. I fucking it's didn't. got it's got it's got real. I mean, super super clean. It's got the drip tip. Look at the bottom of the drip tip. The same style as the goon, the titanium goons and stuff. Look at the look at the lettering on top. Tell me that is not the freaking. Look at that lettering. 528-esque. Yeah. Look. Uh, oh, wait. On the bottom of the RDA. He's asleep, Joel. Look at the bottom of the RDA. I sent him a message anyway. I'll yeah, he's asleep. <laughs> you see it? You see it, Nick? Yeah. What? Yeah, I see it. Does that doesn't say? It, doesn't that look like? And I mean, how many number. serial numbers are there? One, two, three, four, five. five? Yeah, Six. Goon does like eight. <laughs> <sighs> um, as a as an aside, by the way, I don't think this is ever mentioned, but there is a discount code that you get if you join the Vape Stew Crew uh, Facebook group. You get a discount. So if you want a Dreamer, like people always buy Dreamers all the time, it's great. But if you want anything, you get a discount. Except for solid silver and LEs. Right. But I'm saying you can get a percentage off on your I – mean, who doesn't like a deal here? So oh, dude. We totally got distracted. Too. I hate deals. This or that. This or that, Vapor I Swaggins. Ready Use to go. the coupon. Go daily vape TV for Blaz 20% off. This or that. I was told that from the last time they gave me the privilege of the this or that, that I needed to make it less racy. So <laughs> – But still make that. it funny. <laughs> Oh, well, Hi, Batman. Hit piece. me up, bro. We want to have you on the stew. Go ahead. Would you rather have uh, of superpowers? Would you rather have super speed or super strength? I'm going to pass it off to uh, Joel first. Oh, you're going to pass it to the wrong one. I'm going to say uh, super strength because... Uh, Methamphetamine is a hell of a drug. And <laughs> I the side effects of super speed, so therefore I want nothing to do with it. 
<laughs> but to give me super strength, I'm good. <laughs> All right, that works. Why don't you pass I'll pass this one off to Nick. Well, I mean, since I already have super strength. All right, sorry. Were you just <laughs> kidding? Dude, that, <laughs> dude, the, the, <laughs> the lump in your sweater just, like flattened yeah, out when you hit it with your lip. Yeah, yeah it deflated. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> uh, it's just I'm going to go with super <laughs> speed because I could literally, you know, run to Stan's house, punch him in the face, and run back. Absolutely. Your girlfriend might not like your super speed. <laughs> well, oh, if that's the case, then I, I already have saying. super speed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well played. On to swagons. What's that? I'm going to take super speed as well, but because I thought about this shit in the past, and that's why it was an obvious choice for this or that. Super speed almost like gives you super strength. Have you ever seen X-Men first class, like whatever the second one was, or even the first one with the with the with um, the dude, Silver? Quicksilver, um, literally, like when you're going super fast, you can push something, like you can just touch it with your finger. But because you're going so fast, the inertia, the momentum of you moving at that rate of speed, causes them to like hit themselves and basically like dislodge their jaw or something. Like you literally could kick a football that's sitting in place because you're moving so fast, and you kick it so hard that it either explodes or it goes all the way to um, wherever uh, Aziz lives. Dude, what about like running around? somebody really fast and just like sucking all creating the oxygen. a tornado yeah we're just ripping their skin off sucking all the oxygen out of the <laughs> oh shit dude there's so many possibilities i mean with both <laughs> superpowers i guess suppose, but if you have super speed you got to be able to stop super fast that's true well, not like that not guy in the mighty ducks who's really fast but couldn't stop yeah. <laughs> super speed is really cool it would be awesome to just go running like cross wait, from, wait, wait, from wait, the wait. Gulf Before of Mexico. why are you running we pass it off to you what would you choose? I don't know what I would choose yet. I'm trying to talk it out. Okay. So if you had super speed and you started running at the Gulf of Mexico, you could be in Canada like that. Just run through the Great Plains, like right through Tornado Alley, you know, yeah. right up. Uh, like or, or like run across water. You could run across an ocean. Dude, exactly. like walking dude, on water. So, you could fly, basically. Think dude, about it. You could fly. That would be pretty dope. And The Flash used to be one of my favorite cartoons. Not, not The Flash currently, even though that one's cool, but the old Flash, like when The Flash first came on TV in the comic books. I used to love The Flash, but Super Strength would be pretty cool, too. Uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, It'd be more practical, I suppose. Like Super yeah. Speed. Yeah. You'd be I able mean, to use, use Super that Strength practically all as well, the time. But super Strength, how many, how many practical applications could you have for that? A lot of life-saving applications, man. If you see a car run over on somebody, that's what we're saying. Stuck, It'd be yeah. more practical. Yeah. See, I, think, I was I was thinking which one would get you laid more often, but you know, <laughs> Southern <laughs> Omi said I'll using physics best, to explain so something make believe. Well. <laughs> All right, one causes a fire and the other one causes an earthquake. I want mm. super strength. I think okay. that'd be cool. Super strength's where it's at, man. Super strength would nah. be cool. Team speed. That sounds Absolutely. wrong too. Yeah, so you could do like freaking a Heisenberg. House leveling service. Just walk up to a house and pick it up and level a house out. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, dude, oh. dangerous things, dude. You could be a human tow truck, you know, just strap on the back of an eighteen wheeler and walk it two blocks it needs to get where it's going. I Actually, mean, Bob like, Shorky's got a point. He says, "Get to work fast, man. You can get like an extra hour and a half of sleep. Just get up. You could like take your shower, be dressed in the car, or not even in the car. Just run to work and be there in." No, you One wear a unitard. Look, you know I'm a <laughs> You're a unitard. All right, I am a good. unitard. Oh, dude. Joshua Miller, that's no good, bro. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Josh, damn, bro. That's hardcore. Um, <clears throat> What, Dave? No, I didn't. <laughs> Why are you asking? Am I squinty? No, I was up till 4 a.m. working on, and I'm ashamed to say, a Halloween costume. And, uh, yeah. why do I? Why don't, does that sound nefarious to me? Don't judge me. Uh, I'll give you guys a hint. It's a unitard. Yeah. Hold on, wait. I can't find. I had a. I did part of it. Oh damn it! Where is it? Swags to see my guys, chat. Is going on, man. Let's not forget. Uh, that, you know, we do have to stay vocal on our rights to be able to keep. Absolutely. Continue, right? 
like don't get this distracted because we haven't been visiting the topic or talking about it every single week with you guys please know that it is something that has to be done i quit smoking by vaping.com has uploaded one of stan's psa's one of my psa's just re re reminding folks to get up and do their part and we both i didn't even watch stan's until after mine went i was like well damn i couldn't find it first and then i've seen stan's went ahead and watched his and we both basically said the same thing it's your responsibility to fight for what you believe in and fight for your right to continue to vape do not let whatever's going on with suicide prevention the stew anything distract you from the what's ahead of us right now you know everything the fda is doing with the proposed to get it out of here into gas stations again guys it's just a distraction keep keep stay vocal <laughs> don't give up and think that oh well they're going to put it to vape shops so that's a that's a win for us no we're never winning we're constantly fighting it has to be that way yeah actually it has to be that way go to the youtube channel i quit smoking by vaping and subscribe there and share those videos man Share those videos up, not for me and Joel, but just for the fact of uh, what we say, just so that that way it can, you know, you can do your part a little bit, share some of that, um, and and go visit the website and actually, hell, take thirty min, not thirty minutes, take five minutes and send off a a, a little email letter, um, call somebody, you know, just do your part, and uh, you're gonna be able to vote soon. Uh, know who's know who is for what in the is it the what's the elections called coming up primary not primaries um i forget what they're called i'm terrible with the jargon the primaries yeah is that what they're called <clears throat> anyway about politics yeah the uh <laughs> the election's coming up i mean yeah they're, they're like real soon like yeah. next week or something. Tejas. But know what you're uh know what you're who you're going to vote for and just go vote. Make sure you vote. Your vote counts. Your voice is extremely important. So Yeah, Tyler Greer said it best. He said, We're all YouTubers. Man, it's not a, everybody has a voice. Use it. And it's not just to political people in office. Inform everybody about it, man. If so you see somebody look at you crazy, like, hey, what are you doing, man? What is that thing? What is it? Inform them what it is and inform them why you've done it. Inform them of the health benefits you've received from it, what it's done for you. Make sure people understand that vaping is something that you not only enjoy, but you have had health benefits from. That's something that I don't see enough of, or people don't want to say it because they don't want to get in trouble for saying it, is that, you know, it is something we choose to do for a healthier lifestyle. It is not 100% safe, but it is 100% healthier than smoking. I can say that. Or ninety five percent, rather. Huh? Ninety five percent. Well, they haven't proved the five percent's bad. Well, according to the data that we have, <laughs> we're college of physicians. This is a vape. This is a tobacco harm reduction product, not an elimination Midterm. product. <clears throat> midterm elections. That's what it is. Thank you, DH Super. Yeah, but it's the primaries for those midterm elections. <laughs> Vote conservative. All right, so. We did an hour and a half tonight. We're going to go ahead and cut it there. We're going to encourage everybody just to go check out. It's a 24-hour stream, so just check back in every once in a while. Um, <clears throat> over on Vaping with Ken's channel, uh, if one of the – oh, there we go. Daily Vape TV is on top of it. He's dropped the link right there. Um, go check out the uh, the suicide prevention, suicide awareness 24-hour stream. And let's go ahead and start our goodbyes, Vapor Swaggins. Got one question, real quick. What's that? Does anybody on the panel have their own time segment or going to be on that uh, suicide prevention? Yeah, the Omis are going to be on time three to, other three than five the tomorrow. after show. Yeah, three to five tomorrow. We haven't announced after show, by the way. We haven't decided on that. Oh, um, but outside of that, uh, yeah, three three p.m. to five p.m. I'm pretty sure the Omis are going to be on tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, I, I gave my time slot as midnight to 2 a.m. my time, so I don't know. I, I'm down soon. for like jumping on right after here, but I'm I'm looking at the stream right now. They have Poon Sauce McNasty vaping. Let's with fill you. it up, bro. Final and Vapor. <laughs> we got Nick Devine, Michelle Lynn, and Jared the Vaping Go on right now, yeah. and, uh, and the four of us. And, and there's a, there's 129 watching. Yeah, uh, and they, they can use all the support that we can possibly give them. So uh, directly, 
The second this show ends, the second four of us are going on there, presses that button. You're coming too. The All right, Stan I'll jump in for a few button. minutes. Someone got to send me the link because I don't have it. I'll send it to you. I'll jump in for a few minutes. <laughs> so cool. I just right. caught up on chat over here, guys. By the way, thank y'all for taking care of that because I'd eat his ass up. <laughs> <laughs> we are oh, ass. on the Zoom chat. Yeah. All right. We're going to be gate crashing the sh- their show. Just wait. <clears throat> All right, so go ahead and start your goodbyes, Swaggins. Oh, hello. I'm starting my goodbyes. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, passing it on no, off. No to... promo, Swaggins. Hey. Jelly Vape TV. Hey, show, no. show, show them the cool patron shirt you got there, Swaggy. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, please. Oh, oh, oh. What's the back say? What, what show? You got the back. Sorry, I'm really tall. His back says insert <laughs> here. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. You you can't read it. Super, Super friends. Friend. Super Zip. friends. Heck yeah, bro. It's nothing like Cool Kids Club, I swear. I did not fuzzy melon get the piper from Hugs Vape. I just <laughs> fucked some shit up. Oh shit, look at the fucking That's what my mic just did. Anyways, go ahead. All right, all right. <laughs> nice. F- finish, finish your goodbyes there, Swaggins. What's that? I'm I'm pushing it off to Daily Vape TV, aka Nick Bissett, aka the bearded elephant. <laughs> bearded elephant, huh? I don't right. want to know You're why you sensitive. you just I came from visiting it. him. I don't even know why you call him that. I, it it just happened. It's new. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, uh, promo stuff. Make sure you check out my my website. It's dailyvape.tv. Oh, awesome. Pretty easy to remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got merch for sale over there if you guys want to grab one of my T-shirts. They're pretty awesome. I, I'm pretty sure Swaggins has at least one of them. Yes. Yeah, it's really somewhere. Yeah. It's in the other room. I actually have it. It's on. It's the next shirt that I'm wearing on the next show. So I, I also have to go through. They are uh, now cheaper. So that's a plus. <gasps> They're even yeah. cheaper for Patreons, by the way. And they're even doubly cheaper if you're a patron of mine. Uh, by the way, you can sign up for my patron uh, as a monthly subscriber, you know, starting at $1. Um, and you get an extra discount of 20% off. Or a cloud crew member, a.k.a. <laughs> my Facebook group. Um, make sure you check that out as well. Facebook.com slash groups slash DVTV cloud crew. And uh, you get 10% off over there. Uh, And that's free. You don't even have to pay me for that discount. (laughs) So make sure you check that out. Uh, Stan's website, lucidrda.com. You can get Blaz e-liquid. Yeah, Blaz e-liquid right there. Over there uh, for 20% off if you use the coupon code DAILYVAPETV. Where can I get that hoodie? Uh, You can actually... Can I get it on your Patreon? You had to win. Not your Patreon, but your... uh... I don't think you can. You had to win in the vape studio yeah, last week. There, there will be someone walking around with a daily vape. Uh, as a, sorry, a Blaz hoodie. Dude, those hoodies look hella comfortable. Oh my god, it's like a sleeping bag. I'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and pass this one on over to Mr. Just Right, Joel. All right, folks, how you guys doing? Thank you guys for joining us and hanging out with us for a little bit. Do not forget. The suicide prevention 24 hour live stream. We are all going to be there. I would highly suggest everybody go over there so we can cut up a little bit, have a good time, and just, you know, show support for the cause. You know, whether it's something you believe in or not, it's still something that needs to be supported because there's people out there in long discussions I had today in the Discord app early morning with some very, very key members of the Stooge family that really enlightened me to some different ways and think thoughts and beliefs. And there's people out there, man, that do not understand that they are unique. They are important to this world. The world without them would never be the same. And that's for everybody out there. If you don't know that, I want you to know that. I mean it. Like you, I say somebody. always that you're a somebody. You're more than a somebody. You are one of a kind. There will never be another you on this planet. To see tomorrow without you, wherever you are, would not be the same. This world would never be the same without you. And it's important that people realize that and know that because unfortunately there's people that are brought up in this world who have not been taught that or reassured of that, or they forget that and lose way with that. And it's something we have to support and it's something we have to, you know, stand behind and stand with regardless of religious background beliefs and so forth. There's people out there that don't understand that. So 
definitely go over there check us out we're going to be there the just right t-shirts they're in and they're out already they checked in and they checked out at the same damn time <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, uh, well played so uh there was 27 of these made there's 27 of them gone and there's 22 patreons of mine i believe so 22 patreons got them and the other five went to myself and my kimberly and hot rod uh these will be no more they'll make i'll make another run of exclusive just right t-shirts and that's how you can get them i'm not going to offer them for sale i'm not going to put them up it's just going to be a patreon thing if you're a patreon you're going to get in on them you get one for free just for being a patron if it's a dollar you get a damn shirt like i mean that's regardless like that's that's just giving back token of appreciation is saying thank you to those who support me i greatly appreciate you guys i'm gonna say it like i always do if at any given point in time you've ever felt like you are not a somebody i want you to know that you are a somebody in somebody's eyes and that somebody is me i absolutely love each and every one of you stay focused stay blessed mr just right one checking in and checking out at the same damn time stan you're up <laughs> follow that Stan. all right guys <clears throat> thank you very much for being here on the vape stew once again don't forget to check me out tomorrow 11 a.m central on vape radio and uh nick thanks for thanks for the really cool shout outs to lucidrda.com you're the man bro um also you're so good what were you what <laughs> <laughs> also uh <laughs> vape stew crew on facebook go check it out i will be putting up the reverie z thingy bobber tonight or tomorrow one of the two i'll be sitting here working eventually so i will take care of that and that's that's it i got for you guys uh go check out the suicide prevention suicide awareness 24 hour stream over on ken's channel we'll be checking that out in a few minutes and you guys stay safe wait where's my mod one more thing i'm doing reviews again i got two of them up back to back guys i'm back i'm not going nowhere all right all right can can i do my thing now can i can i do it can i do it wait one more thing all right do you if if you think you're not somebody (laughs) then somebody's uh, wait you're you are somebody yes everyone's a somebody You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And remember, vape on, friends. Um, (laughs) Where's the button? Where's the button? It's not over. Oh, 10 more seconds. Nine. No, it's okay. Wait, we're still talking and the slideshow's going.